Life is to be lived. Lived before you die. Don't waste a second of this precious gift. You're here for a reason. Never stop asking why. Here are seven things I need to tell you about life. Number one, life is not meant to be so serious. Make time for fun, for joy, for play. Alan Watts once said, this is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Don't trust anyone that tells you life has to be serious. Don't believe anyone that says there is no time for fun, joy, laughter in every or any day. When you are young, life is nothing but fun. The important lesson most of us adults still need to learn is that life is not meant to be so serious. We can easily forget that our lives do not last forever. This is why it is important to remind yourself one day, you, like all other humans, will die. When we remind ourselves of our certain death, when we remind ourselves of the fact that we do not know when it will all end, when we really take that in, the impermanence of it all, maybe then, maybe then, we can start taking everything a little less seriously. Most people are struggling so hard to get the job, to get the extra money so they can impress people who they really don't like. And those people really don't care about them or about any of that anyway, because they're doing the same thing, searching for one achievement, that one amount of money that will make everything better, but money doesn't make us feel worthy only we can do that maybe we don't need to stress so much about our weight our skin our bank account or what other people think of us i challenge you to look at life not as a struggle or a strain or a destination that is somewhere else needing to be reached but a journey a challenge to see how much joy you can squeeze out of every day. Then, whether or not you get the big house or the fancy car, it won't matter, will it? Because no matter what happens, you will have what most don't. Three things money can never buy. Joy, peace, and passion for life. Create a life that feels good on the inside not just one that looks good on the outside. Number two, circumstances will never define you unless you decide to let them. Let me tell you a little life fact. If you are blessed enough to reach adulthood, there is a 100% chance, yes, 100% chance that life will dish you up some things that you did not plan for, nor did you want in your life experience. These things are called character building moments, life lessons, challenges sent, maybe to give your life more meaning, maybe just something you need to deal with in your own time, in your own way. Wayne Dyer once said, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When you change the way you look at these life challenges, sometimes you will find they are not problems or misfortunes, but redirections, sometimes blessings. Maya Angelou said, you may not control all of the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Don't fight against life. When challenges come, as I guarantee they will, See if you can continue to give your best to the present moment in front of you. Be open to the fact that you do not know how anything will turn out, including this hard moment in front of you. Trust that it was for the best for you or for someone else. See if you can find meaning in any of it, even the hardest moments. 
Number three, if you don't learn to control your mind, your mind will control you. The Buddha said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. And that is not an extreme statement. Humans are said to have over 60,000 thoughts a day. That is not the problem. The problem is most people are having these thoughts on autopilot and many of them are not positive. Most people are programmed by society, by the news channels, by social media. They believe everything they read. They are reactive and when a challenge appears in their life, they don't know how to handle it because they don't know how to think for themselves. Rather than responding calmly and sensibly to fix a small challenge, they react in anger and escalate the challenge into a monster problem. Learning to control your mind and to control your emotions is key to living a life in control. Not in control of circumstances, but in control of how you feel about them which is more important than being in control of circumstances because that is something you have no control over. You control your mind and emotions through daily rituals, consistent self-work every day, repeating powerful processes that are proven to promote calm, positive feelings. Meditation, daily gratitude, prayer, exercise, detoxing from all negativity, specifically news, negative influences, and social media, all of these things are crucial to living a beautiful life. Ultimately, every individual is responsible for how they feel. Next time you react in anger, know that it is you that needs to do more work, not the circumstance or the person that made you angry. No matter 